Hi, my name is Katherine Shaw and I'm working in the research lab of Dr. Nick Shikuma and we're working on beneficial bacteria. So here I am and when I think about bacteria, you know, typically we think about them being bad and that they infect us and we need to be sterile. But that's not really the whole story. Bacteria aren't always that bad. There's actually a lot of bacteria that live on and in us that are helping us out a lot and possibly we wouldn't even be able to live without them. There's bacteria in our guts and they interact with the cells in our intestines. So here's our cells and here's the little bacteria. And he's a good one. And so what we want to know is how are these bacteria helping us? Are they giving us something? Do they digest for us? Are they helping us kill off other bac bad bacteria? So this is what we want to know is what is going on between our cells and the single cell of a bacteria. But we can't really study humans very well in the lab. You can't really do that. There's lots of restrictions. So we study tube worms that live under the sea. And they're these really cute little larvae. And they swim around under the sea. And then they have to decide and find a place on the bottom of the sea to grow up and then they settle down and become these little tube worms that look kind of like palm trees. But on the rocks here are little bacteria and they tell the, tube, the little larvae where to settle down and where will be a good place. And without these bacteria, we think that maybe the larvae will never, never settle down. It's kind of like Peter Pan, they'd never grow up and they'd just stay babies forever. So this is a good interaction, and so we want to know about good interactions here. So we'll study good interactions in the tube worms. So here's their little cells, and although we look really different from tube worms, our cells look pretty similar, and we act in kind of the same way. So here's our happy bacteria, and we know and can find out a lot about what's happening between these cells of the tube worm and the bacteria. And we can use what we know here in order to find out what we want to know. Thank you very much.